What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today what I have for you guys, we're going to go over all 10 different camo events and challenges that are going to be coming in with the Modern Warfare 3 Season 1 update. We already have one that's out right now, which is the Sand and Spice one. But after that, we have the Holiday event. And even after that, there's going to be other events such as the Vortex one. There's going to be a Magma Camo event and so much going on. And we got a bunch of rewards and as well as cosmetics that I'm going to be showcasing in this video. Also, just a couple of announcements. I am doing a giveaway for Modern Warfare 3. So if you you want to enter that it's over on twitter i'll have it linked down in the description we don't have that many entries so you'll have a higher chance of winning so definitely make sure you enter that i'm doing it with subliners and speaking of that i did upload a top five meta loadouts in warzone over on their youtube channel be sure to check that out these are all the best loadouts that you could currently use in warzone that i also personally use as well i will also be linked in the description but anyways let's go ahead and let's get into it so since the launch of modern warfare 3 we started receiving brand new camel events these are weekly events that all all you needed to really do was gain XP. Some of them would have challenges that you would need to complete. The others would just require that you gain XP. And once you gained enough XP while playing, you would end up gaining the mastery reward, which is some sort of a camel. Currently, right now, we have the Dune, Sand, and Spice camel that is available for you to unlock. That's going to be going up until the 20th. And then that's going to be getting replaced with the brand new holiday event. That's going to go on for 12 days. And that's going to be ending around New Year's. And when that ends, there will be a different event that comes in and replaces it with its own set of challenges and rewards rewards and it will consistently keep happening during the duration of season one meaning that at any given week there will always be something for you to grind and a reward for you to unlock and all these camels are only here for a limited time so if you don't get it during that week you'll never get to see it again what makes this interesting is over 10 different camels were actually revealed in the season one update meaning that there's going to be a whole lot of events so after this new sand and spice dune camel that we have right now you can expect that it's most likely going to be this windfall camel which is an animated camel and because it's animated and probably one of the best camels we have available right now I think they're saving it for the biggest event this season and that's going to be the holiday Cadmus event I did talk about that event in yesterday's video but this is the expected reward that you'll be able to get from it not guaranteed but at least we know that with camels they're usually going to be free rewards especially with modern warfare 3 and how they consistently keep adding camel challenges and events for you to do unlike the typical xp goal that you have to get in order to unlock camels I think this one will involve challenges that you will need to complete in relation to the Cadmus event if you want to know about the challenges, I covered that in yesterday's video as well, but this is just the first camel. Jumping into the second camel, this one is also going to be animated, and this one is called the Magma. I believe this is going to be available and tied to the Vortex LTM. That is going to be the next big event that we will get in the game. I'm going to guess it's going to be around January before the mid-season update and the boys event comes in. We're going to receive this event after New Year's. We'll have a dedicated video on exactly what you're going to receive with this event because it is a big one, but it's going to be merging zombies and multi multiplayer you have the ray gun in multiplayer in a free-for-all mode called vortex by playing that mode you will end up being able to get rewards and among those rewards is going to be this brand new magma animated camo so that is going to be a free item that you'll be able to get which i think is a pretty sick camo the next one that we have this one is called the ductile plates gold camo i'm not entirely sure if this will be a part of an event it looks sort of like the cdl camo that we saw in the past and my guess is that they might do a cdl type of event to where if you play ranked play and gain XP in it, you might end up being able to get this reward, which is going to be the ductile plates camo. That could be a way that they will do it. Not entirely sure what they have planned for. It. Regardless, this is a camo that they added with the season one update, which will be available for free at some point in some way. The next one that we have is called the Velvet Radiance Camo. This one looks sick, but unfortunately, it is not animated. My guess is this camo, as well as the next ones I'm about to show you, are going to be minor events. So the ones that just pop up for like a week, and then all you got to do is just gain some XP and you'll be able able to unlock them that's what i'm gonna guess for the rest of these but the next one that we have after this one is called the flying high camo and this is what it will look like not animated either looks like a regular type of camo so my guess is it's probably not going to involve any sort of a big event the next camo that we have this one is called the tiki camo could be a part of its own event as well it is a blue camo has that whole hawaiian flower vibe going on with it but this is just what the camo will look like the next camo that we have after that this one is called the forest gloom once again a bland camo not animated animated this one has sort of like trees leaves and that whole forest look going on with it but that's just what the camel will look like 
Anyways, the next one that we have is called the Air Cibic Royal Camo. Not entirely sure if I even said that right, but this one looks a little bit better. It has a very, very bright yellow. You have lines and like it looks like the camo is damaged a little bit. Definitely stands out from the last couple that we ended up seeing just based on how bright the color is and what it looks like. But the next camo that we got is called the Hard Target Camo. This is a black camo, has a couple of engravings, lines, and designs on it going on. They're not really that easily distinguishable, but this is what the camo will look like. Not the best one that we've seen so far, but the next one that we got is called the Abyssal Camo. This one has that blue color to it. I wish that this was animated. It would have looked really sick if it was. But these are all the different types of camos that you're going to be able to receive from events that are going to happen during Season 1. Now, maybe, just maybe in the Season 1 Reloaded update, there might be even more camos. But when you sit here and add it up with the amount of camos that we have, I believe there's 10 of them. That covers 10 weeks, and that's pretty much the entire season from start to finish. So it would make sense if they don't add any more, but we'll know a little bit more once that season one reloaded update comes around for now just forget that remember that with every single camel event that we have there's going to be a bunch of other rewards that are going to be in that same event for example the dune event has i believe like 10 different rewards before you get to the sand and spice camo it's going to be the same exact way with every single camo so you'll be able to get things like calling cards weapon decals stickers a bunch of double xp tokens and with bigger events like the holiday one that we have soon you might even see even better rewards such as weapon blueprints or if we're lucky enough we might even get a free operator skin as we saw with the haunting event so technically if every single camo here had 10 different rewards along with it there would be over 100 rewards that you will be able to claim just from the camo events that we have in season one and that doesn't include the bigger events and the extra stuff that is included with those but the last and final camo that we have here this one is called the coherence camo this is the last and final reward that you'll be able to get in season one by completing all eight weekly challenges so within each weekly challenge there's going to be seven challenges in multiplayer as well as in zombies and i believe even warzone gets their own if you complete just five out of all those different challenges you will unlock the entire week which will give you some sort of reward like an aftermarket part or something like that and then once you complete all eight of those weeks you will end up being able to unlock this camel currently we are barely on week two so you won't be able to get this reward for a while but you still want to work your way so every single week that comes out you want to do those challenges so later at the end of it you're not stressing out about having to work and do all the different weeks in one day in order to be able to get it but you will be able to unlock this at the very end and then this will be replaced with another brand new camel that will start with season two unfortunately this camel doesn't look as good as it does with the golden river one that we saw in the preseason of the so hopefully maybe the next one will be animated because this one isn't but this is also nonetheless a free reward that you can unlock. So I highly recommend that you do that. But these are all the different camos that are going to be available. There's a couple more camos that you'll be able to get. But these you're going to have to pay for. And these are going to be the CDL skins. Which are a part of the pro packs and the bundles that are going to be coming in along with the ranked update. Which I'll be covering in the next video. This will go over the free rewards for the CDL ranked play. The free operator skins that you'll get. There's also the pro skins that you'll be able to unlock and get as well and then the camels that come along with them. So there's so many different items that are coming in this update, and I can't wait to share them all with you guys. But that's all I got for you guys in this one. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you found the video informative or helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're getting very close to 350K. And just a reminder, make sure you enter that giveaway. I'm giving away copies of Modern Warfare 3. Also, I did post a video over on the Subliners YouTube channel, which covers all the top five meta loadouts. And I also did end up getting banned on Warzone yesterday. And I covered that over on the second channel. So I've uploaded so much content for you guys to check out. But anyways, that's all that I got for you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's been your boy Chito. Hopefully I'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again. Peace.